This is a Chucky Beat production. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another story video where today we're going to be talking about how I went to the wrong wedding. <laughs> but before we get into that, let's get into the wolfy news. Wolf news, whatever. Basically, what's going on in my life. Um, current internet situation still unknown. How I'm going to get better internet. Uh, we have one idea which we are working on. Uh, there's a couple other ideas that may come into play. But it may just turn out that we have to wait until we can get our own place and um, therefore get our own internet. Hopefully it does not come to that, but as of right now, it's just going to be a bit. So, no known date, uh, but I will let you guys know when it does happen. Uh, what else is going on? Um, the weird back to school, no one is tipping uh, phase apparently ended over the past couple weeks like no one has been tipping and it's been really really aggravating and really annoying but as of late people have been tipping a little bit better so that's great um not even kidding people would tip like four dollars and hundred dollar tabs it's like why but yeah that's pretty much it that's all i want to say um so let's get into the video <coughs> to give you some context we're on the island of maui and on this island obviously um, basically, if you want to look at a map, look at the kind of capital city, Kahului, uh, and look at the road that goes all the way up to Lahaina, um, and Nepili. Basically, on the stretch of, like, the neck of the island, it's kind of going like this. There's this camping ground, and it's really, really great because it's right on the waterfront. Uh, you can go hiking in the, in the mountains right behind you, or you can go on the beach, and it's just this awesome, awesome campground. And you open up your tent, and boom, there's the ocean. It's just like... Uh, but they host weddings and right next to uh, this campground is an old abandoned um, sugar mill port and basically all that's standing is a few ruins and the old pier and then on the other side of that literally right next to that is um, a wedding house basically where you can host a wedding it's got really nice manicured grass it's got awesome views it's got this big fancy house um, of course you know the manicured lawn um, which I just said, but I said manicured grass, and that was not really what I was intending. My friend, now granted, I only knew the friend. I didn't know any of the family. I didn't really know any of the relatives or just, you know, anything like that. I just knew the friend. She was getting married and invited me to the wedding. And she invited me, my mom, some of my friends. We all went. The only problem was, is I, I had school that day. Now, this is one the time that I was actually in a high school. But my mom and everyone else goes with my friend to the wedding. I can't go until I get out of school. So I get out of school, and I'm, like, throwing on my, all my clothes. I'm, I'm literally getting, like, half changed. So I'm walking out of the high school with, like, ha my button down, like, half button. My I still have my jeans on, I have my dress shoes on. I wasn't really sure what I was thinking at that point, but I was booking it. And I had to hitchhike all the way over there, so there's that. At one point, I actually had to dive into some bushes to get get fully changed. So I'm walking on the side of the highway in full like tuxedo and everything. Well, actually, I was wearing a suit. I wasn't wearing a tuxedo. And then some someone picks me up. Um, they stop, and I get in, and they're like, "Hey, are you um, like a preacher or something? Are you religious?" And I was like, "No. What makes you think so?" And I was like, "He said," and he said literally this. Only a church person would be crazy enough to be walking on the side of the highway in a full suit. And I'm like, correction, only a church person person and a guy going to a wedding. <laughs> that was, me and the guy laughed um, pretty hard on that one. <laughs> we go um, there and he's, he's asking me where you going and I was like, well I know the area it's in and it's a wedding happening so there can't really be that many weddings happening in the area. I was like, oh yeah, it's probably at the wedding house. And because, you know, that's where everyone gets married, apparently. He drops me off at the wedding house. I get there and I'm looking around and I don't see anyone um, that I know. But I'm just assuming the reception hasn't happened yet. My mom's probably helping the bride get ready. Um, and, you know, my friends are out going, doing something, probably getting into trouble. Maybe they were in the back of the police car that I just saw. <laughs> yeah, I had great friends. Um... <laughs> So I'm walking around and you know the food's out so I'm eating some food there's some drinks around so I'm taking a few drinks and I'm just like hey free food free drinks seems pretty chill where is someone that I know so I don't you know look kind of weird because I don't know anyone here it's really awkward 
I bump into someone while I was grabbing some more food and it was the groom's parents. Now, I didn't know the bride's parents um, and I only met them once, okay? I do remember, I only met the bride's parents once so I would have recognized them if I saw them. I never met the groom's parents. I think I met the groom twice at that point, sort of. Uh, <laughs> it's like I really only knew the friend. I'm talking to the groom's parents and we're chatting up, we're getting along, we're talking about science, we're talking about school, we, even YouTube got brought up because this is around the time I was thinking about getting, becoming a YouTuber. Um, at the time, I was also a magician. Uh, I was, you know, I used to go every Friday night, I used to go out um, somewhere on the island, it would be the first Friday, second Friday, third Friday, fourth Friday, and be kind of like an event in each different town. Um, so I'd always go to the, these and have a little stand and I'd do magic tricks and it brought in some decent money. Oh, I was doing some magic tricks and it was, it was awesome. And whew, here comes the good part. The bride decides to walk past us and say, oh, hi, what's up? She wanted to come say hi to, you know, the groom's parents or future parents-in-law and, um, you know, see who's this guy. Now you guys are probably, you know, already figured out, okay, yeah, he already went to the wrong wedding. So, you know, I've been to the wrong wedding. I did not know this. And the words that come out of my mouth, I will never forget. Because they were the most powerful words that you could have, you could say at a wedding. Who the hell is that? And I was looking at the bride, as in, I don't know who that is, and why is she dressed in a, you know, a bridal dress? Like, this is not the wedding I came, you know, this is not the right wedding. My, my friend's supposed to be getting married, what the fuck? That's what's going through my head. I'm looking right at the bride, I'm like, who the hell is that? Everything goes quiet. Everyone stop ta stops talking, the music stops. <laughs> like, it was, like, picture perfect. Uh, and, then, and then I realized, Oh shit. And this action then came out of my mouth. I'm at the wrong wedding. Moment of silence. And then everyone is dying laughing. I mean, people are rolling on the ground. People are like spitting out their drinks. The bride is laughing. The parents are laughing. And I'm sitting there like. Whoops. It was great, and there was no hard feelings. Everyone thought it was super funny because, you know, granted, I don't think anyone hated me. <laughs> like, you know, I was a pretty good, you know, accidental party crasher. I did some magic tricks. I was a good converser. Um, I just kind of, you know, I think I don't. I think the bride and groom are going to be talking about that um, for the rest of their lives. And hey, if you guys ever find this video. Um, sorry that I crashed your party like that, but good story? <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, so I stayed there for a little bit longer, you know, chatting, got to know them. Um, and then I went to the correct wedding, which I then realized was at the campground. So I go to the campground, and there's my friend. They got married, we had a great time, you know, it was awesome. So I got to go to two weddings in one day, unintentionally. That is totally something I would do. Like, if you were to ask me, would you go to the correct we wedding if you were invited for the first time? And I'd be like, no, I would go to the one next to it because that's just my luck. Lo and behold, I went to the wrong freaking wedding. Anyways, that's the story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like if you want some more. Subscribe to see all my videos. Comment down below. Whatever you want, you can comment. Boobs are delicious and booby da bop da boob bop da. If you can spell that, 10 points to Gryffindor. Alright guys, until next time, we should love ourselves on the of life, and I'll see you guys in my next video. This is...